Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Professor Joy podcast here on YouTube TV. Uh, we're here every week, and we hope that you will uh, enjoy this so much that you'll even download our app. It's available on Google Play on, on, uh, and on Apple as well. Uh, it's a great app to have if you want to improve your quality of life, improve your joy score. We're always happy to have you. Today we have Professor Joy. How are you, Professor Joy? Very good. Thank you, Gary. Good. And Dennis, hello. Hello. And Steffi. Hi. And we have John, is that right? Yes. John's John with us. Klein. Hello, John. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Professor Joy, maybe you can share with us ways that Joy Score can help with this with this seasonal thing that happens. Well, the reality of joy score is something which comes from within us as humans, meaning we learn how to be joyful. So what happens, there are two things which uh, I like to talk about, and this is something we did or we learned at the time of pandemic. So we have couple research scientists I say, is there a, a relationship between immunity and joy? And we actually have a pitch deck which talks about it, uh, that joy has direct relationship to immunity. As your joy score goes up, so does your immunity. And we found that improved immunity is the only way to fight pandemic, coronavirus, because coronavirus attacked people with low immunity. So if you improve your immunity, you can uh, fight coronavirus better. So that was the outcome. The second thing we learn that once we become familiar with how to improve our joy score or joy, it becomes more of a universal reality to us. Meaning, it's like if you know how to bike, you can go anywhere on your bike. You can decide to go to L.A. or Montclair. It doesn't matter where you want to go. The bike can take you there. So uh, our friend, uh, Baden Phillips, who came out of police department as chief of police uh, with 1,300 police officers, he said that, because I was curious, so I asked him, what, what age do you think kids get uh, in trouble with law, I mean, get incarcerated. Would you guess what age he said? Twelve. You heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard a lot of stories. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. I said, Brady, they're, they're kind of little kids. You see, yeah. Twelve-year-old is when they're trying to find joy. Their hormones are active and they're looking for joy and they try to find it in drugs, crime, illicit sex, and name it. I mean, gangs, you know. So they are out of control at that time. And if they can just learn to be joyful, they don't need all of that because then they have all that high from within. So now going back to your question, I kind of took a, long roundabout way of answering it. Once you learn how to be joyful, the standard time or time savings or changes or where you are in the world doesn't really make any difference because you have found a way to be joyful and you will be joyful no matter what time zone you are in, what part of the world you are in. It's just the nature of you. It becomes very universal reality to you. So that's the beauty of it.